Hello, my name is Keith Barker, and on behalf of the entire CBT Nuggets family, welcome to vSphere. I'd like to chat with you for a few minutes about how you and I can get the absolute most out of our time together in these Nuggets. The first item would be to schedule time to actually watch and enjoy the videos. And they can be watched on mobile devices, computers, Apple TV. And as we watch the content, we also have speed controls that we can leverage. And those are built into all those platforms. So the first time we watch the video, maybe we watch it at 1.x or slightly faster, or perhaps something slower than 1.x. So feel free to take advantage of those speed controls as you watch and enjoy the content. The second thing I would recommend strongly is that you do the hands-on labs that we're providing as part of this course at CBT Nuggets. So more than 90% of all the nuggets in this course have a hands-on lab associated with it, and the link for that hands-on lab is over to the right. So if you're on a computer watching the video, if there's a lab associated, the link for it will be over on the right-hand side in the interface. And what has proven to be successful for a lot of learners is to watch the content once all the way through and then go back through it again as you walk through the hands-on lab. And at that point, having two screens or two different devices as you go through the nugget is quite helpful. So for example, if we had a mobile device, we could go ahead and play the video there that second time where we could start and pause it as needed. And then being logged on through the computer, we could go ahead and do the hands-on practice in the provided hands-on lab. And I also wanted to point out regarding this vSphere environment that we are going to create step-by-step step together in this course via the hands-on lab, that there is a bunch of really cool stuff that's going on. We've got servers, we've got network-based storage, we have multiple networks, multiple ESXi hosts, lots of VMs. And one thing I'd like to bring to your attention, especially as we start building and adding more and more components in our vSphere environment, is that it may take a few minutes, for example, for everything to boot up. So if we're powering on an ESXi host inside of vSphere, and then we're also running the vCenter server appliance as a VM on that hardware, it could take several minutes for everything to initialize. So to assist you and I in getting the absolute most out of our time, whenever you think of labs and hands-on labs, I'd like you to think of the acronym LAB. And we're going to associate a new meaning with that acronym of LAB. And it's going to be launch at beginning. Meaning, I'd like you to launch the lab at the beginning of the nugget. So if you go to a nugget and there's a lab there and you intend on doing that lab, take a moment, launch the hands-on lab, go ahead and minimize that, watch the video, and then when the video is done, there'll be more than enough time for everything that needs to initialize in the lab environment to go ahead and initialize. So in summary, if there's a lab and you intend to do it, launch that lab as soon as you begin watching the video. And then the third step is to make sure that you have some fun. I had a blast in creating this content, and I look forward to us going through this content together as we discuss and learn the concepts and then reinforce that learning that we're doing in the hands-on lab every step of the way. So we're going to keep this introduction fairly short, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll take a look at the concept of a hypervisor in a virtualized environment. So I'll see you in that next video. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.